Sandhills. Latest on Hurricane Dorian from the National Hurricane Center. Locations about 260 miles east northeast of the southeastern Bahamas moving to the northwest at 100 at 12 miles per hour with winds up to about 105 miles per hour. Some gusts well above that. Here's a track over the next several days. This afternoon, 2 o'clock, winds at about 115 miles per hour. We can see those wind speeds increase to about 120 as we get into early on your Saturday morning. Category 3 hurricane Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, still out in the Atlantic Ocean. Here's the east coast of Florida right here. Monday morning, 2 a.m., Category 4 hurricane. Could this make landfall as a Category 4? You can see from this perspective right here. That is Tuesday morning. That is 2 a.m. That is a Category 4 hurricane. And that, if you look at that cone right there, it's a little bit tighter than it was, say, this time yesterday. Somewhere from Jacksonville to the Florida Keys, maybe somewhere around Fort Pierce, Florida, then eventually heads into the Gulf of Mexico as a Category 1 hurricane Wednesday morning at 2 a.m. Let's take a look at the water temperatures. If those water temperature 85 degrees or more, that really fuels it up. Now, the spaghetti models, the computer indicating a turn to the Gulf of Mexico and then maybe a dramatic turn well to the east of the Charlotte metro area. That's good news for us. Not really that good for the coastal communities, but a lot of things could happen between now and late next week, and that's really when that would Im impact us, be late next week. For today, high about 80 at Boone, over towards Morgan at 86, about the same at Hickory. Other temperatures across the region, 88, the high today at Concord, 89 at Chester, 85 up at Statesville, east of here, Monroe, Wageboro, Rockingham, upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Let's check that all important 74.